Good morning, my friends. Velma Hagar Restino here. You know, I want to talk about people that come into your life and jack around with your peace. You know, God has called us to a life of peace. And if there are people in your life who you find every time they're around, you are stressed, they, they create chaos, they bring all kinds of disharmony into your life, cut yourself off from them. Do not put up with that. Now, there are people, I want to say this, there are people in your life who you have to deal with, your kids, you know. But even them, if they're grown and they create that, keep it at a minimum with them. Just because they're your kids, you know, sometimes, sometimes we don't gel with our children. I don't know why. I have a lot of friends whose children just treat them awful. And I have friends who treat their kids awful. And if that happens, keep it at a minimum, you know. I never suggest that you cut family off, but sometimes it's the best thing you can do. If they're creating something in your life that you cannot find the peace, you know, the peace of God is a gift that he's promised to his people. He says, I will give you peace that goes beyond understanding. Not like the world can give, not like tranquilizers or a drug or or anything else can give. He gives a special kind of peace that nothing else can, can buy. You can't buy it. You can't make it happen. Only God gives it to you. And there are times that even in the midst of those trials with those people who are creating chaos, you will have peace in the midst of it. If that happens, then okay. But if you're unable to grab hold of the peace that God promises because people are stirring stuff up in your life cut yourself off from them move on you know what life is too short I don't believe in dealing with someone who is you know maybe it's a friend who who likes to put you down or who likes to um, you know sometimes they do it real sneaky like they give you these little digs you know but you get them you know you're supposed to be subliminal but you got them you know find other friends. There's too many people out there who are looking for a good friend, who would be a good friend to you to w then to waste your time with someone who is um, destroying your peace. Now we are supposed to love everyone. I'm not saying you don't love them. Just because you love someone doesn't mean you have to hang around with them. My inner circle is very important to me. That inner circle, I don't let anybody in that it doesn't fit. Now, out here, yes, I have tons of friends out there. But my inner circle is very special, and yours should be too. Even Jesus had his 12 disciples that he handpicked, that he traveled with, treated everybody wonderful. But his 12 disciples were his inner circle. And I would say that in your life, there's probably two or three friends that really impact your life, that God has brought to walk through this journey with you and you're going to learn from them and they're going to learn from you and, and that's fabulous. And then there's a lot of other people that are just your inner circle that, you know, when you have fun things, they're invited and you're invited to their things and, and, and that's the way it should be. But don't let those people in who are going to change your feelings inside. If they are causing disruption of any kind in your life, move them out to the outer circle, but don't let them in. Got it? Okay. With that said, remember, God's called you to a life of peace. And sometimes you're the one jacking with your own peace. So create peace in your life as much as you can with whatever is within you. Be at peace with all men. Okay, until next time, this is Velma Hagar Restino bidding you a blessed day.